Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to be helping you, I'm going to cover like the very basics of how you can start up into ClickUp. It's a really great, great application to start, let's say, managing tasks, docs, chat, goes, everything of your projects in just one place. So that's the reason why I'm going to be showing you what we do, what we can do into ClickUp, a very basic way. I'm going to just cover like just the main tools of ClickUp. But if you want to see like a very huge um, tutorial or walkthrough of the ClickUp, you can let us know down below in the comment section and see what we can do for you. So I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can sign up into ClickUp and you can get a free account and you can get um, just say just a few tools, extra tools that you can uh, take advantage from, let's say the next 30 days, so you can get a free trial mode. I'm not pretty sure what they can offer to you, but uh, what I can do show you is the ClickUp is going to be helping you a lot, a lot, a lot with your project. So what I want to do here is to sign up or to sign in using the current account that I do have. Now, for example here, as you can see, ClickUp has already uh, saw here that I do have a Google account. So here into my Google account, what I can do is to create uh, or go into the downgrade option. Qs ClickUp do has a free account, a free option to have a free account. But I must say that there are a few things that can be limited if you start here into one project and you use a lot of features, a lot of tools, and after your free trial mode, you're no longer going to be seeing all those tools because you've used different um, tools that you used only for the premium version. So with that being said, uh, what I want to do, guys, is to show you something really easy, which that would be the workflow. So here into the workflow, we do have the home notifications, the spaces, our dashboard, our documents, and who is in charge of this, let's say, the chat of the members. So here into the upper side, we do have my project, and here is my workflow. It's the different wor workflows that I can see my, my, my tasks. So as you can see, I do have two tasks. I want to add something else, like for example, cinema. I'm going to add, let's say, for example, I'm going to hit into sleep, something like that. So I do have a full list. So if I choose something else, for example, from list to board, I'm going to be seeing the workflow like this. Or if I choose boxes, I think it's going to be helping us a lot. But there are, once again, a few workflows that, of course, are only for premium options. So I don't want to focus in here. We do have the calendar uh, view, the activity, the table, and we can uh, use so much more. But if you ask me, I think like the best option for us, that will be whether the list or the board. So here into the board, I do love to, let's say for example, that I am doing laundry at the moment, or I, I need to do this. So I want to just drag and drop, drag and drop, and drag and drop. So it's really easy to just manage all my tasks with just doing dra drag and drop. Now, if I want to add a new field of to do, doing, complete, let's say cancelled, right? And I can add new status, cancelled, and I can add a red color and get into save. So here into the cancel, let's say that the basketball was cancelled. Boom, I've already managed that and I'm doing laundry today at, at this moment. So that's a very easy way that we can just start to use tasking here. Now, if you want to create a new project, not for yourself, like you are a team leader and you want to, let's say, manage your projects like your social medias or your e-commerce or whatever you are creating here, what I want to focus is into my spaces. So here into my spaces, I want to choose new space and I want to hit into templates. Now templates, it's once again a really, really great tool from ClickUp, so we don't have to start from scratch, because here into the templates, I do have all the tools that sometimes I do need, uh, and I want to focus into the beginner level, because I don't want to see a lot of things. I don't want to just be stressed about what I can do. I just want something easy and simple to see. So here I have the personal productivity, I have the marketing, I have others, project management, both are not used. So let's say I want to use the project management. Here it is. 
all the temp or all th what the template includes. It includes status group, includes seven click applications and two view types. So if I choose the use template, it says it's page name. So let's say this is a YouTube task. Import option, import everything, project date, import as, hit into use template. So now it's going to be creating me a new space uh, here into all my everything. So uh, now we do have our list in here. What I can do is to obviously select my new space, which is actually the YouTube task. So as you can see, I now have everything already organized and uh, like nice and easy. I didn't have to do absolutely anything. So as you can see, we do have the home renovation project, the bathroom, the kitchen, the hallway, the garage, the backyard. Everything is looking really, really great. So, ah, oh, thank God we have templates here. So here into the templates, uh, what I can do is to change that from list uh, into board. So once again, I love to use boards because it's really easy just to say that I uh, need to paint something. I'm doing that at the moment or get an electrical done for total watch list. I've already done that. If I want to add the canceled field that we just created uh, there, hit into save. So uh, I just want to be taking a few seconds to add the status. You don't want to focus in there. There we go. So I want to go into the canceled. Really, really easy now. If I want to go into the dashboard, I mean, why do I want to go into my dashboard? Here into my Puppet dashboard, what I can see is like the reporting, everything, like how is going all my my projects. So if I go into use a template once again, let's say use something really easy. So it says, welcome to ClickUp dashboard, blah, 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 blah. Here is our task list, our doc files. And this is like the progress that I am do having here. So let's say that I want to assign this. I have my dad or my mom in here into ClickUp. So I want to assign those into the emails. So I want to add that in progress. I want to assign that to them. I want to comment and please do these ASAP. Hit into comment. I can use all these fields to add much more stuff into the chat inside the ClickUp, which is actually really, really great. So I just want to exit here. And if I already created something and already edited it and some th someone already finished that, just go into the done. Are you sure about this? Resolve all the items. Status changes into closed. I'm going to get into the X button and there we go. Now, lastly, what I want to show you is the document type. Here into the document type, I can add new fields. So here into this document, what I can do is to add, let's say, different links. I can add some references. I can add import files. And yes, we can do templates if you don't want to start anything from scratch. If you want to add some templates, go into this section, go into the templates, this bar, and hit into, let's say, I want to use for personal use, and I want to use a funeral agenda. There we go. This is a file we just created. It was really easy to create a note, right? So prepare for the last day with your loose and loved ones. Never easy. Blah blah blah. What else? The funeral. Everything is already in here. If I if there's something that I do not like, I just need to delete it. It's really easy. So that's the reason why I love to work with templates because template has everything that I need. Sometimes a few more than I need. So it's better to have more than left uh, there. So. I just need to edit my own projects and everything has been successfully done, guys. So uh, hopefully this was a very useful video for you. Um, of course, ClickUp has a lot to offer to us. It's really, really easy. It's really, really incredible to use the ClickUp application. Of course, the premium mode has a lot of files, a lot of things that we can use. Uh, I think this would be really valuable if you want to work with a team into ClickUp. I think it would be really worthy to go for an upgrade. If this is only for you, I think like the free version is going to be more than enough for you. But that's totally your own opinion. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about this great, great application. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, good luck with all your projects out there. And I will see you guys on the next one.